The 2024 Paris Olympics is upon us, and tensions are at an all-time high for the U.S. to bring home the gold. The U.S. has more of a purpose than ever to bring home the gold after track and field star Noah Lyles called out the NBA and said that winning an NBA championship is not as impressive an equivalent to winning a world championship. His comment went viral and sparked many responses from basketball media and many of the NBA's best players. You know the thing that hurts me the most is that I have to watch the NBA Finals and they have world champion on their head. World champion of what? The United States? Noah Lyles set off a spark in USA basketball and it led to the creation of the best Olympic team since the 2008 Redeem team. The 2024 team is coming out with a vengeance after the two biggest stars in the NBA, LeBron and Steph, did not play in the 2020 Olympic Games. And let's of course not forget last year's FIBA team, which was one of the worst displays of Team USA basketball we have ever seen. Not even bringing home the gold and losing to Germany in the semifinals. There's no doubt the horrific performance in the 2023 FIBA games, along with the outrageous comments from Noah Lyles, led LeBron to come back and recruit the best Olympic team possible and shut doubters like Noah Lyles up for good. But with all this being said, how good are they? I mean, in theory, they should be the best team in the Olympics, but winning the gold this time may not be as easy as we all think. Let's not forget that the NBA has truly become a global game in the past decade, and international superstars like Nikola Jokic, Giannis Antetokounmpo, SGA, and Victor Wembanyama are all competing against the U.S. for gold this time around. There's no doubt that this year is by far the most competitive global competition in Olympic basketball history. But let's break down their roster, their exhibition games so far, and how well they match up against some of the top competition. The 2024 Team USA roster is stacked with some of the biggest names in basketball. LeBron James, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Anthony Davis, Jason Tatum, Bam Adebayo, Devin Booker, Drew Holiday, Anthony Edwards, Tyrese Halliburton, Joel Embiid, and Derek White. I mean, this roster is absolutely loaded. And the blend of seasoned veterans and rising stars makes for an incredibly formidable lineup. There's no one else to start with than LeBron James, who is the obvious leader and veteran presence on this team. LeBron's experience in international play, combined with his incredible basketball IQ, versatility, and leadership make him a cornerstone of this team. He might not necessarily be the top option like he used to be, but he'll still be a focal point of this team in every aspect of the game. The most exciting player added to this roster, in my opinion, is Steph Curry, who shockingly is making his Olympic debut. Curry's shooting prowess is unparalleled, and his ability to stretch the floor opens up opportunities for his teammates. Steph is going to draw so much attention when the ball is in his hands, as he's a threat to shoot as soon as he crosses half court. But I'd be interested to see how they can get Curry going off the ball, as he's excellent at coming off screens and getting in catch-and-shoot situations. I'd like to see this side of Steph, as there's so much talent on this team that he doesn't need to be the primary ball handler like he has to be on Golden State. There's a very good chance he'll be the shining star of this team. Of course, we still have Kevin Durant, who's been the most consistent and leading scorer in the past three Olympic Games. But KD is unfortunately getting up there in age and is dealing with a calf injury. I personally don't think we're going to see a healthy Kevin Durant in these games, and there will need to be a much bigger hole to fill from a scoring perspective if KD is not 100%, which I don't anticipate him to be. Some key names I see adding some scoring depth and two-way versatility on the wing to make up for KD's presence are Jason Tatum, Devin Booker, and Anthony Edwards. All three will provide great scoring ability for this team, but I see Ant-Man and Tatum contributing much more defensively. Anthony Davis, Joel Embiid, and Bam Adebayo bolster the front court, providing rim protection, rebounding, and scoring both inside and out. Their presence addresses the size issue that plagued that FIBA World Cup team, whose only true big man was Walker Kessler. That alone just shows how much front court depth this team lacked last summer and the center upgrade is by far the biggest upgrade from the 2023 FIBA team to the 2024 Olympic team. 
Tyrese Halliburton is another young talent on this roster that's going to offer some playmaking and shooting off the bench, but I don't expect him to have a major role on this team. And finally, we have the Celtics duo of Derek White and Drew Holiday, who will bring their defensive prowess and versatility to this team. I think their role will shine bright on a team filled with superstars that need the ball in their hands and need to be scoring to be effective. Having an additional layer of security on the perimeter and guys that are gritty will definitely help contribute to this team's success. But before we continue, I wanted to quickly shout out today's video sponsor, Swish Rim the best basketball rim reducer on the market. Did you know that it's scientifically proven that practicing on a smaller rim is more effective than a regular rim? Just check out these graphs on our website and you'll see the difference. Even the greatest shooter ever, Steph Curry, practices on a smaller rim. Although we're not associated with Steph and he uses some high-tech NASA engineered machines to make his rim smaller, for the rest of us, there's Swish Rim. And it's so simple to install. Swish Rim comes with a pull and uses strong neodymium magnets to snap in place, so there's no ladder needed. Attach or detach it to any rim in seconds. And here's the best part. Use the code HOOPDUNGEON, all one word, at checkout to save 15% off your total order. Don't miss out on this chance to take your shooting to the next level. Team USA has played three exhibition matches so far, and although they took care of competitive rivals like Canada and Serbia, they almost let the game slip out of their hands against Australia. They did showcase how much potential they have, with virtually everyone on the roster being able to contribute at a high level. But these games are not just about racking up wins. They're a testament to building their cohesion and chemistry for when the games actually start to matter. They know on paper that they're better than everyone else, but they still need to figure out how to play together. They have to figure out how they'll run their offense, what roles each person will play, and how well they'll execute down the stretch and play together with so much talent on the roster. Now let's compare Team USA with their top competitors, France, Serbia, and Canada. These teams are loaded with talent and present unique challenges. France, led by Rudy Gobert, Evan Fournier, and potentially Victor Wembanyama, is a defensive powerhouse. Gobert's shot blocking and rebounding anchor their defense, while Fournier provides scoring. Wembanyama, a generational talent, adds versatility and is a matchup nightmare for anyone on the U.S. side. Team USA's key to victory will be exploiting their speed and perimeter shooting to counter France's size and defense in the paint. Serbia, of course led by Nikola Jokic, presents a different challenge. Jokic, the reigning NBA MVP, is the most unique player we have ever seen from the center position. His ability to score, rebound, and distribute makes him the focal point of the offense. Serbia's supporting cast will have to shoot an insane percentage from the field and from three to even stand a chance against the US. But if Jokic is on his A game and shooters get hot, you really never know. Team USA's strategy will be to neutralize Jokic's impact and use their athleticism to disrupt Serbia's rhythm. Moving on to Team Canada, they're the only team outside of the US that has this many NBA guys. Led by Shea Gilgis Alexander, RJ Barrett, Jamal Murray, and Dylan Brooks, this roster is by far the deepest roster with NBA talent aside from the US. SGA's scoring and playmaking, Barrett's versatility, and Murray's shooting, along with Dylan Brooks' defensive tenacity, will make them a formidable opponent. Canada has the personnel to somewhat contain Team USA compared to other teams in the Olympics, but where the US will thrive will be exploiting Canada's lack of interior defense. Expect big games from Embiid or AD if Canada and the US were to meet in post-group play. But overall, given their roster, exhibition performance, and coaching, Team USA is well equipped to perform exceptionally in the 2024 Olympics. Their depth allows for multiple scoring options and defensive schemes. They can play big with Davis and Embiid on the floor at the same time, with two more forwards like Tatum and LeBron, or go with a small ball lineup without either AD or Embiid on the floor. Just imagine a lineup of Steph, Ant-Man, Tatum, KD, and LeBron. This is a mismatch against any opponent. But if I was coaching this team, this is what I would do with Team USA. And feel free to comment below if you agree or disagree with me. I'd have Curry at the one leading the offense. Devin Booker can come in as a sub who can come in and hit shots when he's needed. 
if for whatever reason either of these guys aren't shooting well and both are struggling on the defensive end, they've got Tyrese Halliburton who can handle the ball and be effective as a lockdown perimeter threat, but I don't see that being needed. Where the value in this lineup is to me is with Anthony Edwards, who can be an elite two-way athlete and score at all three levels as well as defend very well on the perimeter. With this team having Derek White or Drew Holiday to go in and guard the opposing best player, Ant-Man won't need to demand as much on-ball defensive responsibility, but he will still contribute on that end while being an elite scoring threat. And of course, along with Ant-Man, Tatum and LeBron are providing a similar two-way capability like Ant-Man, but will have more of an emphasis on getting downhill to the basket and either scoring or kicking it out to the shooters. Defensively, Anthony Davis, Joel Embiid, and Bam Adebayo will all share minutes and provide a similar role of being the defensive anchor providing that rim protection. I do see AD and Embiid getting more of these minutes as both can really stretch the floor, but I hope the roster doesn't underappreciate Bam's defensive presence. The team's versatility is their greatest strength. They can adapt to any style of play, whether it's a fast-paced game or a half-court battle. Their experience and basketball IQ ensure they make smart decisions under pressure. However, they have to remain vigilant. International teams have closed the gap in talent and skill. France's defense, Serbia's Jokic, and Canada's young stars are all formidable challenges. Team USA's path to gold won't be easy, but their depth, talent, and experience give them a significant edge. In conclusion, the 2024 Team USA men's basketball team is poised to dominate the Olympics. Their blend of seasoned veterans, rising stars, and strategic coaching creates a powerhouse roster. While France, Serbia, and Canada present tough competition, Team USA's versatility and depth should prevail. The stage is set in Group C. The US will face Puerto Rico, Serbia, and South Sudan in group play. We can expect high-level basketball, thrilling moments, and a strong chance of gold in Paris. And although they obviously are heavy favorites, winning another gold medal is not just the goal. They want to go out and prove people like Noah Lyles wrong, and make sure everyone leaves the tournament knowing that the U.S. destroyed everyone standing in their way, and that there was no doubt in them winning that gold medal. But what are your thoughts? Do you think that the U.S. Olympic team is so good that they'll completely breeze through the tournament? Or will there be challenges on their quest for gold? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notifications so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.